All right, today we're going to be conducting an experiment uh, using balloons and applying heat to them. So with this, we have a balloon that is filled with air that we're going to apply heat under. And then we have a balloon filled with water and then half air. And we're going to apply heat to that as well. And I am hypothesizing that the balloon filled with water is not going to rupture or the balloon filled with air is going to. So my back history on that. So water um, is an insulator. It absorbs um, temperatures or heat without a rapid swing in the actual temperature degrees of Celsius. Um, this is applicable to marine life, um, things like the ocean and lakes. If it was 120 degrees outside living in Arizona, and if water was not as good of an insulator, and if it had a rapid swing um, in temperature, then marine life would not be able to thrive in that environment or live um, there stably. Um, so water changes temperature very slowly uh, with absorption. So this resistance of water to not change temperature um, rapidly um, is due to the high specific heat of water. And I have written down that it is the highest specific heat of any other liquid, which specifically is 4.184 joules to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Um, and this is the um, highest specific heat of any other liquid, um, which is why it's so good as an insulator. So that is water, but on the reverse, the air that we're um, gonna see in the balloon, when it is heated, the air is heated, molecules begin to vibrate and bump into each other. Um, so when they're vibrating, they bump into each other, they keep creating more and more room because they need more room to um, be able to kind of buzz around. So with that, I'm hypothesizing that in the balloon filled with air that is going to, when heat is applied to it, um, as the molecules are bumping into each other, they're going to be putting more pressure on that rubber balloon, um, expanding and just moving around. And when you're placing heat under that balloon, you're creating a weak spot in the rubber. Um, the air has no other place to go and it's creating pressure, but to rupture out the balloon. Whereas um, placing the heat under the water balloon, I'm hypothesizing that if this is all true and water is such a good insulator and it will absorb that heat quick enough and not transfer um, to make a weak spot in the rubber, that it will be able to maintain with the flame held under it. Um, so with the air balloon, you apply heat, you create a weak spot in the rubber, um, plus the pressure of expanding air, and that's gonna burst. Whereas with the water uh, filled balloon, the rubber is thin enough that when you place the heat under it, um, the heat will quickly be transferred through the rubber into the water and it's going to be able to absorb all that because as we learned up here it's going to absorb without a rapid swing in temperature so if the water is able to absorb all that heat and there's not time to create a weak spot in the rubber um, then it should be able to maintain its integrity all right i think that was all of that let's move the laptop all right so now we will do our experiment. Um, first one, we will apply the heat under the air balloon. Um, and we confirmed earlier that it does rupture, but we'll show again for the balloon experiment. There we go. All right. So that one didn't even last a second. And now we'll see how the water balloon does the integrity. So it's leaving black spots. I'm definitely touching it with the flame and nothing's happening. Um, if you actually feel the spots, it's actually not very warm, but it's leaving the black spots knowing that the flame is touching it. But um, that was quite a few seconds. We'll try it one more time. All right. So I think that showed a pretty good overall conclusion um, of our experiment and what we hypothesized. Um, I wonder for future experiments um, if it would change it at all if you were to hold the flame in directly one spot under the water balloon. Um, I know I was kind of moving it around, but it does prove that, you know, the air-filled balloon, the lighter only had to be under it for one second and it would ruptured, whereas the water balloon um, maintained its integrity. Um, 
which kind of proves our point that the water is um, a very good insulator. It absorbs all that heat and doesn't allow time for there to become a weak spot in the rubber. So I think that concludes the experiment and I think it was a successful experiment. Thank you.